All right, good blessing morning, everybody. I am uh, reading, coming to you guys from the King James Version I got on my other phone. Uh, but it's Philippians chapter 1, I'm going to read 27 through 30. And, um, you know, this this scripture definitely felt close to me this morning. Um, because people are funny, man. You know, they'll act like they're hurting you, but they're really hurting themselves in the process. Um, and... The devil's at work, but um, I, I had such a laugh yesterday at, 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 the, at the devil's expense. I had such a laugh yesterday because um, he's trying to get me, you know, frustrated and upset. And the funny thing is Jesus already gave me a word. Like, you know, the Father God already gave me a word, you know. Father God already told me, don't worry. So, you know. I I can't help but to but to hearken unto his word. You know, when God says don't worry, you don't say, oh, you don't say but, you say yes and amen. And that's exactly what I said. So, you know, God has given me such a peace about um it give me such a peace about everything. And if in fact I'm still able to smile about it and, and, and laugh about it. So I so I know that God is in control. Um But I'll get on with the reading here. It's Philippians one verse 27 through 30. And this is Paul and Tim Timotheus letter. So, but it reads uh, verse 27, only let your conversation be as it becometh the gospel of Christ. That whether I come and see you or else be absent, I may hear of your affairs that ye stand fast in one spirit with one mind striving together for the faith of the gospel. Then he's talking to other fellows in Christ. So be ye as one, even if, even if I'm not there, when I hear of your affairs, act as one spirit with one mind striving together for the faith of the gospel. Verse 28, and in nothing terrified by your adversaries. So let nothing terrify you of your adversary. So it's funny God gave me the scripture um, because he had me laughing yesterday, um, which is to them an evident token of perdition, but to you of salvation and that of God. Verse 29, for unto you it is given in the, in the behalf of Christ, not only to believe on him, but also to suffer for his sake having the same conflict which he saw in me and now here to be in me. So I'm going to go back to verse 29 right here. This is the verse that really spoke to me. Um, For unto you it is given in the behalf of Christ, not only to believe on him, but also to suffer for his sake. So as as believers, which I know a lot of you guys understand, um, we're not going to have an easy life. Um, as believers in Christ, as a matter of fact, we're going to have a lot of people coming against us, even even those closest to us. Um, yeah, we're going to have a lot of people coming against us, and it it is because we believe in Christ. You know, if we look back at Job, didn't uh, you know Satan Satan go to heaven, and God was like, "Have you tried my servant Job?" And um, and Satan was like, but you have a hedge of protection around him, and um, and you know God God made Satan a waver. He said, but he said you are not to touch Job. Uh, so he gave the okay to test him, and uh, test Job. Satan did. You know, um, when I speak to a lot of people, I, I think that they get caught. They get so caught up in trying to believe that, you know, be, because I, because I serve God, because I serve Christ, I'm going to have an easy life. You know, I, well, I, I can tell, I can tell you this, you're not going to have an easy life being a servant of Christ. And I can tell you something else. You darn show sure aren't going to have an easy life serving the devil. You're not going to have an easy life lying, cheating and stealing on people. And they can cut, cover a multitude of things. You're not going to lie and cheating on every test. You know, you're not going to lie. You're not going to prosper stealing. You know what I'm saying? You got to work those spirits out of you. You got to pray against those spirits and fast against those spirits. 
and I was going to touch on, uh, it, it's funny God gave me the scripture today, um, you know, talking about Paul's letter, because I, I was actually going to do a completely different, um, completely different scripture reading for the day, but you're not going to have an easy life in Christ. There's no way possible that he promised you an easy life. Because God knows the end from the beginning. It's never going to be an easy life. But he promises you. He promises that he will take care of you if you abide by his rules. If you're out there lying, cheating, and stealing. If you're out there uh, killing, destroying, and stealing. Because that's what the enemy comes. He comes to kill, steal, and destroy. If you're out there doing all that stuff. Oh, all bets off the table. You know, God doesn't promise you anything. You know, you, you might have, you, you're going to have a, 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 a tumultuous life and then you're going to end up going to hell. Um, unless, unless you get yourself right, unless you get yourself straight. Um, so, you know, I don't know about you guys, but me personally, hey, I want to continue to serve a God that meets my needs. I want to continue to, you know, to live in him, uh, to put his words, to, to put his word out there. You know, whatever troubles I come up against, God has already given me the scripture. He's already told me how to handle it. Like even now, God has already told me how to, how to handle, um, how to handle these things. You know, he has. And the thing is that, that the devil's operating in my life thinking that, oh yeah, I'm going to do this. I'm going to do this. Keep this in mind. That's why, that's why I let people know every day, you know, when I speak to people, keep this in mind. Then this is mine. Thus saith the Lord. Can't nobody pay you back the way God can, you know, and 40 years got God to hit you with cancer and take you out one day. <laughs> like, and I'm not saying I'd like to laugh, like, but people don't understand, man. Like God is a jealous God. You don't, you don't just do what you want to do and you get off when it comes to him. You know, he is our father and daddy is only going to let you do what you want to do for so long before he starts visiting some of those curses that some of those well-deserved curses on you before he start letting those demons torment you at night. You know, I, I sleep like a baby. I'm just saying for some of you guys that are in, that are in your mess, that don't want to turn around. That that want that want to keep being that want to keep being in sin that want to that want to lie and all that stuff like that it's gonna come back on you like it's gonna come it's gonna come back on you you know so I'm like hey I don't worry about nobody you know you make your own path don't bring them demons back to me mm -mm. don't bring them demons back over here to me leave leave me alone with Jesus let Jesus do what he gonna do in my life and he is and he has blessed me enough he really has he's blessed me abundantly in my life already. You know, just by making a way for me, by waking me up every day, you know, by um, allowing me to bless people. So I, I'm good with Jesus. I'm absolutely good with Jesus. I don't want nobody um, that's not going to worship him. And I, I'm, I'm going off on a tangent. But, you know, I say that stuff to say that these are the characteristics that you should look for. Um, when people are coming in your life claiming to be friends. Go and get in your in, in your prayer space, and you have a conversation with God. And you say, "Father God, remove these people that aren't sent from you, and see how many of those people stick around." I'm telling you, God will clear them out so fast. But you have to have. You also have to ask for discernment every day. Every day, pray for discernment because you have to know who you're hanging around. Because because that wolf. That wolf, that wolf will be around you for 10 years. That, that, that wolf could be around you for 10, 15 years. And then he'd take that sheep's cloth off and be like, oh, yeah, I was really here to get you to cheat. I was really sent back here. I was really put back in your life to get you to commit adultery. I was really put back in your life to get you to idolize money, right? You know, I was really put back here. I, you know, that wolf can be there for, for, for anything, anything. And, you know, nowadays, like to me, like for me, these wolves aren't subtle. They're not subtle. 
when I tell you, like, you know, God be having my discernment on a thousand <laughs> when it comes to people, God be having my discernment on a thousand. You know, I, be, I, I look at the way they move, the way they talk. And like, you know, a lot of times I can hear I, I can hear a lie within the first within the first 30 seconds of a conversation. I can hear I can hear the lie. So I'm like, it's already starting. Like the lies are already starting. And nowadays, you know, people people can't stop lying. I, and I don't understand why, you know, be truthful with yourselves, be truthful with yourself. So that's the reading for the day, guys. I thank you guys so much for tuning in. It, it's it's a blessing to be able to come on here and do these things. Um, next time I go ahead and do and do the reading, um, you know, if if God leads me to do that. But um, I pray the entire armor of God over the views of this video, over my family, um, uh, Shana, the subscribers. And everyone else that come across this video, I pray the entire armor of God over you guys so that uh, not only you guys, but also myself, so that we, we all may be able to stand against the wiles of the enemy. And uh, amen and amen. And uh, just, just a little footnote here. Um, what you're going through now, what you're going through today is not going to be what you're going through tomorrow. So understand things happen in seasons. You know, when you line up and get right with God and start walking in your destiny, um, you know, and you start following the rule, the laws of God, it's the most beautiful thing that you can ever do. For some people that's been stuck in, in their sin for so long and, 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 and the generational curses in their bloodline and the curses they've inflicted upon themselves, it's going gonna, it's gonna to be a hard road to come back to doing what's right. But I, I, it's worth it. You know, I've, I've seen people turn their lives around um, completely doing this stuff. And, and it's, it's worth it. It's worth it. So um, you guys make sure you make sure, just make sure you get right. Make sure you get right. You know, make sure you start reading the Bible, hark, hearken unto the voice of the Lord. And um, you can't go wrong by having a relationship with him first. Because I can tell you, he gives me so he gives me such a discernment, man, uh, such a discernment about people and. It's absolutely beautiful. But uh, you guys have a blessing, okay? Thank you guys for tuning in.